operations on monomials. There's several rules that we have to introduce here. Now our first rule says that if you have a base raised to a power times the same base raised to another power, you can keep a common base and add the exponents. Now before I get too far with this example, I want to step back and start with something very simple, something that you've seen for years. And so we'll just call this an idea here. If I said that I had a times a times a times a times a, I think most students would understand that when you have five a's listed out like this, you could call it a to the fifth. What I want to do is break this into two parts. Look at this first part, call it a squared. Look at the second part, because there's three a's, I call it a cubed. And hopefully this illustrates the idea that I'm trying to portray here. With a common base, I can say that I have a, and just add these exponents. 2 plus 3 is 5. And that would be the same answer as if I listed out all the a's as a, 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 a. It's a to the fifth. So if I have an a squared, a cubed, I can call it a to the fifth. If I have something like b7 times b4 times b cubed. Because it's a common base, I can say that my answer would be b raised to, and then I simply add these exponents up. 7 and 3 is 10, 10 and 4 is 14. So it would be b raised to the 14th. Now as we illustrate this example farther, what we're going to do is create examples where we have both coefficients and other variables. So I might say something like this. 3 a cubed b, and then I want to multiply it by 5 a squared b cubed. As you try to advance with this problem, as you try to work out the operation here, remember that your coefficients are always multiplied just like you've done for years. 3 times 5 is 15. Then you move to the like bases. So I have an a cubed and an a squared. With the like bases, I can say a, and then I simply add the exponents. 3 and 2 is 5. For the b's, because it's like base, I say b. I like to put the 1's in there so that I know that this b was raised to the first power. It's implied. b1, b3 would be b raised to the fourth because you add the exponents. And then your final answer needs to be a monomial. So when you do operations on monomials, your end result is still a monomial.